In this video, we installed a new timing chain and new guides. Well, there's a there's a thing in the middle here too, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 so. yeah that's like the little dowel pin for the back. You know, put that on there, and then you zip this off. This comes right off, but the, you know, swap it over. And then you gotta figure out what the torque spec is on this, and how would you torque it? You know, Just put it on the vice. Uh, I don't know. You don't wanna fuck these teeth up, you know. Nah. Uh, I guess leave it. Let it be. I would. Be. Personally, yeah, I was just like, leave it alone. I mean, you could probably like get away with it. You mess around with it. You don't have this piece. Yeah. So, might as well do this original, right? Yeah? Well, because if you're leaving the bottom the way it is, then I guess it's fine. Yeah. Worry about that the next time. It's useful, it's fine, nothing looks shit. There's Dow. It this was facing up? Alright, so it goes like this then, right? Yeah. Okay then, alright, yeah. Yeah, because it makes sense, because when we put the new chain on, remember those two marks I'm talking about? That's where I meet? It has to be right in the middle. Yeah, it should be alright. See, see how it fits. You wet it with oil and call it a day, right? Yeah. There's nothing else to it. I mean, you put a new bowl and new washer. Balls and new washer. Okay. I mean, you know, typically doing a chain, you wouldn't be replacing that piece anyways. You'd just be doing a chain, potentially. If this was like a dealership. Yeah. So we're good then, like that. Yeah, yeah. Washer, I think it went here, no? Yeah. Okay, so you got one here. That one goes to the bottom. And you got this one that goes to the top. Now, it should be the same as the K20s. We'll look it up on the clip here. So it should go like that, right? Yeah, you know. This is just from installing, you know. So, you know, we already established that, that these markings go on the top. Just like that. Yeah, you know. Here, right there, you're in the middle. Okay. So that when you go and put this back in, there's also, you gotta look on the bottom, there's gonna be another one, an arrow. Okay. Or it could be a dot, I don't know. Okay. But you wanna be this marking on that arrow. Okay. Okay. So when you like that's how you would know that you're all lined up. Okay. Now we lower the idler gear assembly into the cylinder head. Using the mirror, we lower the eyelid gear so it's resting on the cylinder head and align the mark chain link to the lower sprocket dock. You want to see the new part? Do we see them? Yeah. Dot, right? Yeah, but that's for the other chain. There should be like, like a dot right there. But I think that's from the bottom. I don't, know. I don't know if I'm looking at the bottom one or the top one. That one looks like the one that we're messing with, yeah. 
Maybe it's the same dot, both are the same resistor. Mm. That's probably that right there. I mean, I see the dot. Yeah. On that, but I don't. Know. So you got your mark here. You established that. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This chain is obviously the our timing chain. Yeah. The drawing looks like it's the other thing, the oil chip pump chain. It's not. The dot has to be the reference point to that link, you know? Yeah. Because that's. Yeah, you see how this chain meshes in the drawing, goes into that, yeah. and you see the other one? So it's obviously matching that dot on there. Yeah. And that's obviously showing you between the space of the, the dot and the gear. So the chain, obviously, they, then in this picture, you see it's on there. Okay. And where's that link? Okay. Should mark it with something. It's kind of hard to see. So that's this chain, this link right here, right? Yep. That's darker gray than these two. It's just that one right there, yeah. Alright, see that the, 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 if I lay it like this, you could see it, right? Perfect. The dot on a cam. Yeah, as long as you can see it. I can see it, that thing. Okay. Alright, so that's sitting there. Is it, do you got the washer or no? no. Yeah, he's holding it. Yeah. Alright, so that's sitting. Okay. Think I'm uh, too f off, right? Um, yeah. I see it. Check it now. What do you think? You see the dot? Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. It looks like that's right there, right in the middle. Move the mirror and see if you see it, like a line to where. All right, so I can see it right now. I mean, I see it too. It looks like it's in between, right? That shit, yeah, it is right there on the spot. Yeah, I see it now. Okay. You can see it. It's right there, right in the middle, right? The illustrations are weird because honestly, there should be a dot on the other, on the on where we're putting the chain on right now. Well, that's probably, uh, it is probably, you know. But I'm thinking once you get your guy reels back on. It should be, everything yeah, should yeah, sink. Make, make sure, you know, once we get this back on, it'll get the proper tension. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're on where that dot is, that's for sure. You see it. It just doesn't move, right? Yeah, so, you know. All right, wash your bowl. Next. 
we tighten and torque down the oil pump chain guide. Now we install the new left side timing chain guide and new bolts. So I'm going to change it to foot pounds. So I got eight. 8.7, so I'm gonna have to pretty much do 9. But what do you think about the chain, uh, Miguel? Do you see how we have a, just a little bit of a wobble? Look. Yeah, it's fine. Just let it sit naturally. And I'll go in. I'm this one guy. Next, we install the new right side timing chain guide and new bolt. Okay, 49 newton meters. 49. Now we finally torque down the idler gear bolt. Stay tuned to the next video as we install back the camshafts and install the new Ballard Motorsports time and chain tensioner. So if you like what you saw today, please hit like, share, and subscribe. This will help support the channel. Just as you the viewer, we also have to work to pay our bills, which that takes time away from the video editing. We're not rich, we're not sponsored, and we don't have mommy and daddy funds to support our projects being filmed and the camera equipment to capture those moments. So a moment of your time by hitting like and subscribe can accelerate our challenges and progress for this channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.